Hey folks, how y'all doing? Today I'm uh, in New Orleans and I'm removing a mammoth colony that is uh, is between a. Uh, it's gonna look like a window. Kind of looks like a window, but uh, it's a recess. Uh, well, it's not really really a window technically. It's uh, a vent of some type. This lube is behind it, but it's boarded up. Kind of looks like a window. And uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take the board off and remove them. I might have a little uh, noise from the lawnmower, but uh, anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Here we go. on the ground and that's what's up top okay 
<laughs> they got it going on, folks. I ain't gonna lie. Check them out. Yep. They've been busy. They've been here. Probably several years. Be my best guess. I'd say several years. Okay. Time for them to go. I removed about a third of it uh, so far, but most of what I've removed is just um, some old honeycomb, you know, surplus honey that they've that they ate probably uh, this winter and uh, you know up to this point. But uh, look at all those bees. So let me show you what I removed so far, though. So this is a 42-gallon contractor bag, and uh, you can see a lot of this stuff is. Just old, you know, honeycomb. You can see how large the cells are. And some of it had a little bit of honey. Some of it still has a little bit. And I did have a little audience earlier. And uh, over there they were hanging out. And I was giving them some miel. And uh, it's it's reasonably tasty. But uh, there's not a lot of, whole lot of it. But uh, see, watch. So I can pick that up. And uh, if there was a lot of honey, I couldn't pick that up <laughs> with one hand like that anyway.
really surprised if the queen was on that board, but oh well, they're running in. They're happy. I'll let them march in, and then uh, I'll, I'll let y'all enjoy that for a minute. Then I'm gonna take a quick break and uh, grab me a little water or something, and then we'll get up there on the ladder because we got everything off the board. Once I get all the, the hive out, I'm gonna put the board back up, screw it in place. I may or may not caulk and seal it because uh, it's kind of historical thing that they mentioned. So I don't know if I have permission to. I have permission to screw the screws back into the window frame, but uh, not to caulk it. Go figure. Anyway, I may have permission. I don't know. I told them we should caulk it, or they'd probably get bees again. Like maybe tomorrow, because <laughs> the bees are going wild right now, folks. I mean, big time. We've gotten a bunch of calls in the last 24 hours. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Take a break. For the most part, looks like they're kind of staying down here. And as I pull out comb that has bees on, this kind of shaking them. And uh, I have plenty enough time left to do this removal without a bee back. Uh, but uh, I'm about to get into some heavy numbers, so I'm not sure if I'm going to fire up the BVAC or not. I'm uh, going to proceed like I have been, without the BVAC and without protection. Uh, I've taken, I think, three stings that were accidental. Where I grabbed the comb sections and uh, the bee was happy to be between my finger and the comb. But uh, for the most part, the bee's been uh, pretty cool. And um, for, you know, being this amount and being completely exposed, I got to give them an A plus on attitude. <laughs> Alright folks, well, whew, <clears throat> we lost power uh, at some point, and uh, it was hot, I took a little break and stuff, but um, got all the bees out, and I'll show y'all what the window 
or the recess, whatever, where the vent is, looks like in a second. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and combine our bees. I did frame up two frames of brood, although they were on a kind of dark side. Uh, they were good size and they fit the, the deep frames nicely. And uh, they always like a little brood of their own, you know. And the rest of the frames in there are drawing comb. So we're going to go ahead and pull the bottom and let our the bees join up at the brood and the bees that are in the bottom and the queen. Okay, so our queen's in the bottom. No need for a queen excluder. That's always good. And usually you can you can hear them roar a little bit once you uh yeah let's look running down the fan and yep I don't know if you can see this let's start to run down they're fanning they're running down everything's good they're happy all right let me go over here show y'all what the recess looks like okay <sighs> all right i mean you got little bits and pieces but uh I'm going to go ahead and I'll clean it up a little bit more and I'm going to go ahead and put the plywood back and I'm going to caulk and seal around the edges so that other bees can't get in. Alright. Alright folks. I'm done with this job. I'm beat. I got everything out. I got a bunch of bees. Caught our queen. Uh, cleaned everything up. Put the plywood back. Caulked and seal it. And we're good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Another one from JP the Bee Man. To the next one. Bye bye. All right, folks. This is the next day. I uh, went ahead. Uh, there was just so many bees. So there were still some up in the catch box, and uh, I shook them out. See there, I added a, a deep and uh, another deep, and so uh, you know, watch what happens. Some of them are going to try to go over to this this nuke right here. And most of them should wind up <laughs> where they belong. Anyway, a lot of bees. So the queen's in the bottom. So uh, we'll let them settle in for a little bit. And then uh, they're going to be moved to Gonzales. And another day or two. Alrighty, hope you enjoyed it.